Is it me or do I kind of look like a stripper in this outfit? <laughs> I'm available for parties. on the cheap tips, cheap laughs. Now recently I was driving home from work and I work in an area where, well, I don't wanna say where rich people live, but where rich people live. If you wanna make money, you gotta go where the money is. Now most of you guys know that I work as a hip hop dance instructor and when I work, I dress the part. I had on my snapback, my hoodie, and my leather jacket. I was pretty thugged out. <laughs> Some may say homo thug, I'll take it. Hey, go ahead. So anyway, I'm driving home after a long day of work, and I have my music blasting, and I'm leaning back in my low rider. I don't even know what a low rider is, I just thought it sounded cool. And as I'm driving, all of a sudden, I see cop lights flash behind me, and I'm like, I'm getting pulled over? So I start thinking, what the hell did I do wrong? Did I like run a red light or cut someone off? I had no clue. And as I start to rack my brain, I realize I'm not getting pulled over because I did anything wrong. I'm getting pulled over because of the way I look. Can we say racial profiling? I think so. So I pull over and as the cop starts to approach my car, I say to myself, Rob, if there's any time to gay it up, the time is now. Because I gotta downplay this outfit somehow. And for some reason, when people find out that you're gay, you just come off a little less threatening. Let's just call it like it is. So the cop comes to my car and he says, license and registration, please. And I'm like, hi, officer, hi. And then I continue to say, would you mind telling me what I got pulled over for? And he says, well, I pulled you over because your license plate is covered. Now I have this guard that goes on my bumper to protect it from anyone scratching it when it's parked, but it covers my license plate. So I have to always make sure that I lift it back up before I start driving again. And I totally forgot. So I'm like, oh my God, that's my bumper guard. I can remove it right now. And he says, we'll handle that after we process you. <laughs> process me. So then the cop goes on to ask me protocol questions like, do I have any outstanding tickets or any warrants for my arrest? Which I don't, just to clarify. But then he goes on to ask me, sir, do you have any weapons or drugs in the car? <laughs> now I've been pulled over many times before and I have never in my life been asked if I had weapons or drugs in the car. Then I can't help but think, if I was a little old white lady driving the car, would he be asking the same question? I think not. Racial profile. So then I go, oh, weapons or drugs? I don't even know what those are. So then the cop goes back to his car and he like runs my plates and everything and it's taking a long time. And I start to think, holy shit, am I gonna get like strip searched or something? Which I probably wouldn't mind because the cop was kinda hot. Oh, I'm so bad. Stop thinking about sex. So after a while, the cop comes back and he says, all right, sir, everything checked out and I'm gonna let you go with a warning this time. And then I'm like, oh my God, officer, thank you so much. I'll never let it happen again. Now in the end, even though I got racially profiled, everything turned out okay because my record is clean. And contrary to what you've heard, I'm a good boy, but I could be bad for him. Ooh, officer, arrest me. I can't help but be a little disappointed that I didn't get strip searched. Is that bad? Well, that's all the cheap laughs that I have for you today. Make sure that you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you this Monday for another cheap tip, and next Friday for more cheap laughs. Bye! <laughs> I'm crazy.